Alrighty then. How's everyone doing today? Everyone doing good today? I hope so. I I really, really hope that everyone is doing a okay today. Um I'm just getting this uh this stuff shared out. We have a, a a live event to react to today. The NetEase Connect 2022. Um, not a ton I know about uh, what, what NetEase has on offer here. Uh, they have about 15 announcements, they said today. Uh, and... NetEase uh, makes games for, like, everything. Console, PC, phones. Um, like, prior games they've done is, like, Marvel Super War, Warbound Storm, Life After. Uh, and according to their official NetEase Connect page, uh, they do... They have, they're going to be talking about Harry Potter Magic Awaken today. Uh, Lord of the Rings... Rise to War, Naraka Blade Point, and I don't know. Will some of this stuff come to Nintendo Switch? I have no idea. I guess that's why we live react and find out. Uh, they do have some previews running right now. Uh, so I am going to flip over. I'm not going to turn the volume on yet. We're just going to chit-chat for a bit. Um, and uh, speaking of chit-chatting for a bit, that is not where it should be. The monitor for streaming should not be that. One second, let me switch it up. Should have this. There we go. There we go. So as you see, there's about 10 minutes to go. They're kind of showing like these quick little teases. I'll turn the volume on here the closer we get to it. Hey, JLo! How's it going? J -j 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 lo Little midday stream action. Thank you so much, JLo, for the $19.99. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, it's a well, we're not streaming tonight. Uh, work schedule change with my lovely fiance, so I now you know spend my Friday nights with her, whether we go out of the house or not. Uh, spend my Friday nights with her, just chilling. Um, but uh, I am pretty much all yours, guys, is from now until then. <laughs> besides the stuff I have to do for my children, because uh, I am ready to go. Uh, one thing that's interesting. So today, uh, I just I, I made a trip to the barber shop today, and uh, how you guys think I'm looking, huh? I mean, yeah, you got the haircut done. I got I got some waxing on the eyebrows. I got my my uh, beard professionally taken care of. I don't know. Maybe you guys can't notice a difference, but I certainly do. This is the cleanest cut I have felt like in forever. So. Uh, shout out to YouTube for not notifying you. Oh, man. Uh, so welcome to Nerdy Inkling. Welcome, Yulia, my lovely fiance. She's chilling upstairs right now. Uh, welcome, Star Infinite. Welcome, Don Lewis. One of our members is here, and Natsu as well, of course. Another member. We have Brightburns1985. JLo, who is also a member, but hasn't said anything. Only super chatted, but I do appreciate it. Looks good. Thanks, thanks, Jordan. We got David Haney here as well. So yeah, I don't really know outside of the couple games they've pre-announced what to expect uh, from NetEase games today. So I guess we'll see. Uh, you guys know it's that time of year. We like to live react to all of the summer events. So you know, Sony will have some stuff at some point. Uh, all these companies, I'm trying. I'm trying to react to everything, even when it happens outside of our uh, Prime Gaming Fest window. Um, so yeah, has anyone here ever played a NetEase game before? Like a game they've, they've made or published? Um, I said uh, on their, at least on their website, their game list is, well, here. This, this is their game list on their website. Uh, so you see Omni, um, my OG, the card game, Warbound Storm, Extraordinary Ones, Marvel Super War, Knives Out. Life After Identity 5. Cannot even begin to pronounce that game. So, uh, yeah. 
that's some stuff at least they have listed on their website. They've maybe they've done more games than this, and I just I you know, whatever. I'm just going off their website. So um we'll see. They got 15 games to announce today, though. 15 games. Can't stick around too long. Have to go to my cousin's wedding dinner rehearsal later. Nice. My cousin is getting married next weekend. Um, uh, but I'm not really in the wedding. I'm just attending the wedding. So that's right. My cousin didn't put me in the wedding. No, it's okay. Uh, but I, I will be at the wedding. So it'll be, it'll be, it'll be all right. Um, let's see here. You have not played them. Yeah, see, I haven't really played any NetEase games myself. I don't, I don't believe. Uh, but again, they got 15 games to announce today for console, PC, mobile. So it's going to be interesting. What's up, Brian? See, how's it, how's it going? Plus, a good thing, a good reason to do this stream is, you know, since we're not streaming tonight, Hey, let's have this little day stream uh, before I get to the Prime News video later today and all that. Oh, we already have a really, really cool lead story for Prime News. It's going to be one of the headliners. It's kind of a big deal. Um, that being said, I hope you guys are having a good day. Welcome to, what is it, Friday? Is it actually Friday? Yeah, it is Friday. Welcome to Friday, May 20th. This time, a month from today, I'll be sitting on a cruise boat. Yeah. <sighs> Give me about four weeks and I'm going to be getting my son on down in the Caribbean. <sighs> Swimming with the fishes. Hopefully not dying to the fishes. <laughs> so, uh, getting closer and closer to that. But before that, we have Prime Gaming Fest and other things happening in between, including my son's birthday this weekend, his birthday party this weekend. Anyways, um, Nintendo's future is uncertain. I wish I knew what they're doing next. So Brightburn's 1985. Uh, I don't know that I would ever call Nintendo's future, quote unquote, uncertain, just because you don't know what they're going to do. Nintendo knows what they're going to do. So... Trust in them, I guess, is my my advice. If you typically like what Nintendo does, you got nothing to worry about. Um, you should have, uh, yeah, you should have a hardcore mobile gamer like me co-streaming with you on the show. No, I'm good. I'm good. There's announcements in here for console, mobile, and PC. So we'll see what happens. Maybe something cool gets shown off. Something exciting. I have no idea. Um, what I do know is that I need to set this stream to uh, something different here. Um, this, I need to go to... I don't have the back end open at all for some reason. You need to have the back end open. Reached out to Nintendo on Prime Gaming Fest, guys. And surprisingly, I got a response. I don't know if anything's going to happen, but I also did not expect Nintendo to respond to something I requested for Prime Gaming Fest, so uh, fingers crossed. I can't look at this. Look at this. To cross my fingers, I got to manually do them. See, I can go like that and hold it, but I can't. I can't. I, I can't do it myself. Uh, anyways, fingers crossed that that leads to something. Um, Nintendo's future is a mystery to us. It usually is. I'm so sorry. I wasn't able to access your store. Is the store not working? The merch store I posted about? Is that not is that not working? Sorry, I'm just making sure that we're actually live, but I'm gonna refresh the page. Just to just to lock her in here. I sent screenshots in my Discord server. Let me see. Opening Sue. Give me a second. I wonder if I have to hit a button 
Give me a moment. Sometimes I have to hit a button on the back end for it to actually be live. I thought it was live, but maybe it's not. Let me, um, I'll try to fix that quick. I mean, the store is sitting right here. Why won't it work? Um, give me a moment here. I will try to figure this out. Uh, okay. 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 I'm just looking at this. Add out your store information. Okay. Um, well, let me do this. Let me load this in a incognito. It should, it should be working, but maybe it's not. No, nope, it says opening soon. Okay. Give me a second. Oh, this is why. Okay. This is why. Let's do this. Let's do this. This is what this is why you guys can't can't buy anything yet. This is why. It's, it's a sales tax thing I have to uh, fill out. I did have my store website. What do you think that is? That's a website. Well, that that helps. Well, I'll, I'll get that, that shop working here in a bit. All right. Uh, that being said, can you tell me what you think about Disney Plus if you are a subscriber? Uh, I, I don't mind Disney Plus. It's cheap, and they give uh, give me enough content for for what I pay. Anyways. Is this a remake? I don't know. This stuff right here, this is just kind of them previewing, and we're beginning. Here we go. Let's do this! They're a video game company. Here we go. The ease connect. 2022. Let's do this. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us and welcome to NetEase Connect 2022. My name is Daniel Robson from IGN Japan. And I'm Esther Crevet, also from IGN Japan. IGN, huh? Uh, we have 15 mobile and PC games for you today, six of which are brand new reveals. Could there be one with Lords and Rings in it? Perhaps an update on a certain action-adventure battle totally royale game described. with Narakas in it? Could there be one with a wizarding world in it? Stay tuned to find out. And remember, you can find out more about each game by following its official social media accounts. Before we dive into the first game, let's recap a little on NetEase Games itself. NetEase Games is one of the world's largest game development and publishing companies. They have over 50 internal studios and 10,000 R&D staff. So Daniel mentioned that we have 15 games to show you today. 11 of these are developed exclusively by NetEase Games, while four of them are co-developed. And their proprietary game engines such as NeoX and Messiah and cutting-edge AI for things like visual effects and motion have been used to create high-quality games uh, like Knives Out and Harry Potter Magic Awakens. NetEase Games is becoming a more global company too. Over the past year or so, it has helped to launch Nagoshi Studio with revered uh, Yakuza series creator Toshihiro Nagoshi. They have acquired Grasshopper Manufacturer, helmed by No More Heroes creator Goichi Suda. Uh, they have invested in Heavy Rain developer Quantic Dream and Dead by Daylight developer Behavior Interactive. There we go. Um, I personally interviewed uh, Mr. Nagoshi a couple of months ago and he told me that uh, NetEase Games offers his studio complete freedom to create whatever they want and that's really exciting to hear. 
In fact, let's hear some of the developers themselves. Here we go. Konnichiwa, Nagoshi Studio no Nagoshi desu. Kono tabi, Tokyo ni te Nagoshi Studio o kaisu shita shita. Wearing a supreme sweatshirt, huh, buddy? Netto Isu Connect e yoko. Here we go. Along with some of that high fashion. いうと一つはグローバルだと思いますし、まあ、あとは、まあ、僕自体あまりこう時間をかけて作るっていうスタイルよりはなるべく効率よくものづくりをしたいのでそういう意味で言ったらスピードなのかもしれないですでも一番大事なのは、まあえー、ホームページなんかにもあえて書いたんですけど僕らはチームでやっぱり作っていますしそういう意味で言うと、うん、コミュニケーション大事にしたいという意味であえてこのオープンっていうのはすごく大事にしたいなと思いますね。まあ、成長っていう面で言うと、特に我々はコンソールゲームのプロフェッショナルだと思ってますし、えー、まあ、ネットイさん自体は、えー、スマートフォンなんかで大ヒットゲーム、まあね、オンラインゲームと言った方がいいのかな、えー、大ヒットゲームのコンテンツ持ってらっしゃいますけど、おまあ、お互いがお互い。持ってないノウハウハたくさんんあると思うんですよねでそこをやはり学び合ってで本来の自分らの強みであるところにまたこう技術的な面ノウハウの面をいろいろ取り込んで学んでいくことによってまた一層強くなれると思うんですよやはりそういう関係で居続けたいし、まあ、コロナでなかなか中国に行けないのもすごく悔しいんですけどいろいろこうコミュニケーションの手段に工夫もしながら。えー、我々は今こういうことをやってるとかこういうことで困ってるとかいうことをもう何でも言い合えるような、まあ、そういうオープンな部分があれば、えー、そういうお互いを高め合っていく関係になれるんじゃないかなっていうふうに思ってますしそれを一つのビジョンにしたいなとも思ってます。Yeah, yeah. これは、まあ、引用になってしまうんですけども。選ばれし者の恍惚と不安二つ我にありとその言葉と同じ感覚をグラスオッパー立ち上げの時に思いましたね一口ゲロとかよく吐いてますよ僕<笑>一口サイズのゲロが僕らグラスオッパーは長い間インディペンデンスでやってきたスタジオなんですけども今はネットイースグループに入って本当に大きな支えのもとでゲームを作ってます僕らのスタジオニュースタジオがオープンしましてヤブキリスタジオという名称なんですけれどもヤブキリというのはバッタの名前なんですねバッタの中でもあの最強と呼ばれるバッタがヤブキリでヤブキリスタジオにしましたクロソッパーの特徴としては僕自身が社長室みたいなものを持たないんですよ僕の目線の中にみんなが入ってきてみんなの目線の中に僕が入ってくるっていうのはグラスホッパー立ち上げからずっとやっていてそれの姿勢はもうとにかく崩したくなくて僕がグラスホッパーというスタジオを立ち上げて一つなんか理想の完成形としてのスタジオになったんじゃないかなと思ってますこのスタジオでやっぱり作る本当にめちゃくちゃ良くて新しいゲームっていうものを the best part of the stream so far has been the music 皆さん本当に期待してほしいんですけどいつ発表できるかなちょっと今年の年末に行けるかちょっとわかりません I mean right now they're just like oh we acquired these studios and we're all happy to be part of this and they give us independence and we we got money now このプロジェクトを連続で作っていきますけども Sure. ここのタイミングでセカンドプレイジェクト、うちのグラスホッパーの若手スタッフが15ゲームを発信していく。で、彼らが新しいゲームのスタイルをどんどん作っていくみたいな、それはもうまずはやっていきたいですし、それがセカンドタイトル、サードタイトルまでいくのか、それは本当、丁寧にやっていこうと思います。バージョン 5.1 のグラスホッパー、ぜひ皆さん期待してほしいです。新しく生まれ変わります。脱皮をするに近いのかもしれませんね。グラスホッパーこれまで何回もバージョン変わってますけど今回のバージョンは本当に劇的に変わるので、まあ、一番の最大の僕らのね皆さんにお届けできるので新作ゲームだと思うので、はいまあ、それをぜひ注目してほしいなと思っています。So, for me, like、uh, Nagoshi san and Tsuda san are some of Japan's most famous video game creators, and to see them getting total freedom and creating whatever they want is, is a really exciting、cool、thing for me to know. 
Yeah, it's it's exciting like and thrilling to see these guys that you know, we've, we've played so many of their games and enjoyed so many of their games. It's exciting to see what they're going to come out now that they have this unbridled freedom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I look forward to seeing their game. Maybe it'll take some time, but you know, let them cook what they want to cook. Exactly, we're waiting for it. Uh, in the meantime, NetEase Games already has over 140 high-quality games on mobile and PC available in over 200 countries and regions. It plans to add console games to its lineup in the near future too. NetEase Games is committed to focusing on player experience and empowering creators. It is investing in studios around the globe and taking chances on young talent. For example, the hit game Identity 5 began life as a demo created by a group of fresh graduates who had just joined the company. NetEase Games supported them to go realize the game's full potential, and now it's one of its biggest hits. Okay, let's kick off the showcase for real with a very, very brief update on Dead by Daylight Mobile. In April, NetEase Games published the game in Japan and Southeast Asia, attracting a ton of attention from gamers. NetEase Games plans to continue working with Behavior Interactive, offering its expertise in the mobile development and publishing space. Keep an eye out for news coming soon about the exciting updates of Dead by Daylight Mobile in the West, with a test coming up very, very soon. All right, there's game on. Next up is Life After. Now in its fourth year, this popular open-world doomsday game survival two. game for PC and mobile boasts a realistic post-apocalyptic environment and a wide array of cool game features. The game has amassed 200 million registered players worldwide since its launch right in 2019, the, the, uh, and it was selected as the best competitive cool. game of 2019 by Google Play. <laughs> the major 2021 update, The Revenant, evolved the doomsday survival experience by allowing players to become a half-human, half-zombie hybrid with special new powers that grow stronger as the fight goes on, uh, resulting in even more intense battles and new ways to play. Now let's see what's new for this year with Life After. Is this just Warzone zombies? Just as I don't know. I've never played Life After. I've heard of it. Um, I know a few people that, that have it on their phone. Uh, they, they seem to really like it, but I don't know. I've never played it. There you got to see it. Play some gameplay. So, what did you think of that? The new expansion is coming soon. Follow Life After Social Accounts for more updates. Since launching in 2021 on PC and mobile, sci-fi grand space simulation game Infinite Lagrange has created an immersive universe. Let's see what's new right now. Infinite Lagrange. After bidding farewell to the former homeland, games, mankind has marched toward a broader world with more diverse identities. The steps of prospectors have opened up great routes. The efforts of builders have created prosperous homelands. The diplomats contriving has led to an era of peace. 
the commander's orders have broadened the game setup. Today, with the revival of the Milky Way, more stories behind new identities are about to be staged. This is a universe shaped by millions of players. With the exploration of countless pioneers, the Lagrange network has been established, leading humanity deeper into space. With the recent Earth Day update, uh, Infinite Lagrange conveyed the concept of harmonious Earth, ecological Earth to its players. And now, the latest version has brought the identity agreement to the game, where explorers with different identities shoulder different missions and settlement goals. This summer, Infinite Lagrange plans to incorporate the concept of legacy into the game, allowing players to search for legacy items and use these to develop their own forces. Infinite Lagrange aims to bring an immersive space strategy gaming experience to players. With more updates in the future, the game will continue to expand on its core concept of an original grand universe. And of course, we saw some uh, new footage. So uh, Ezra, um, I've been playing this game, but I'm curious to hear what did you think of the, the footage that we saw just yeah, now? Yeah, just looking at the footage, the first thing that really stands out to me is the aesthetics. You know, it's a science fiction setting, like space and stuff like that. Usually, personally, that's not really my cup of tea, but this game, it, it has these beautiful visuals, you know, it, uh, amazing landscapes and then huge, beautiful cities. Like this, really, this, this Beautiful kind of uh, speaking to someone really who's never makes me want to play and see more of it. Mm. So how's it been playing uh, for you? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's a, it's a very immersive game um, because the, you have the whole sort of simulation strategy side of it. But um, you're sort of building up your game fleet game. in space. And um, I personally, I love sci-fi and I love um, very uh, grounded, sort of realistic uh, sci-fi as much as I love the fantastical stuff. This is very much more in the sort of realistic grounded, uh, side. And so. Uh, as you're going through and sort of that building look your bad, um, space station and building shipyards and adding ships and building your fleet, um, there's always a sort of a, I don't know, cool. kind of a logic to what you're doing that, that feels very grounded. Um, but at the same time, Even like you're saying, you've bad. got these beautiful uh, vistas and um, it, it feels very much like a sort of a, a, a positive like strategy games. Uh, oh. and a welcoming sort of vision of mankind's future in space. Right, it's cool to have those those beautiful vistas, and then at the same time having a really, you know, uh, concrete setting for how things work in this 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 universe. That's really cool to hear. Also, um, there's a lot of lore in the game already, and it sounds like with this new update that's coming, there's going to be, you know, like it, that's going to be expanded upon even more. But uh, it's a game where you it it sort of really pays to read. Um, you know, the, the uh, information behind uh, items you unlock and that kind of thing. And uh, if you're interested in sci-fi, there's a lot of information, there's a lot of really interesting lore in there. So I'm, more, I'm quite uh, excited to um, see with the new expansion, um, you know, oh, that gets how, even how deeper, that's right? exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. like a little now let's move on to our next game. Badlanders is a next-gen competitive survival looter shooter game developed by NetEase so, Games. Out now for PC yeah, and mobile, game, the game some, pits 25 players against one another on the battlefield. On, so. Take down enemies and steal their loot, but be sure to get out in one piece if you want to so keep fake. it. Man, you're going to hate Prime Gaming realistic, real-world weapons and an open in-game economy, you can level up your arsenal to take into the next level fight. Check out this clip of a legendary story in the world of Badlanders, which shows how anyone can become a winner. That is, until the next winner comes along. There is a legend in Badlanders. A player named Mr. X entered the Red Beach with nothing but his bare hands. He snuck into the base, searching for equipment, but found only a pistol. He was caught in the crossfire. When the gunfire died down, he approached and killed the sole survivor, stumbling upon equipment he had never seen before. He sold the equipment in the auction house and returned to the battlefield for more. Mr. X always came out on top and brought home precious loot for the A new ocean. package! With his newfound wealth, he donned himself in decked out gear from head to toe. Having a taste of success, he returned to the Red Beach in full gear and ready to wreak havoc.
This is where our protagonist, Mr. Y, comes in. With one well-aimed shot, Mr. Y becomes the new owner of the decked out gear. Legends like this happen every day in Badlanders. Legends never end. What are you waiting for? We hope you enjoyed that little taste of Badlanders high investment, high risk, intense gameplay. And just a little taste of karma. Now let's check out another brand new game. Mission Zero is a two versus four competitive stealth game in which you become an invader or their chaser. With its cinematic art style, high resolution visuals and tense matches, the game has already been well received by players in the Chinese mainland. A game of cat and mouse unfolds between the two factions, the Sirius and the Mobius. Through daring infiltration, nerve-wracking escapes and intense hacking, use your equipments and your wits to work together and beat the other team. So put on your tuxedo and get ready for the trailer. David, tell me you don't know anything about Nadi's games without telling me you don't know anything about Nadi's games. Yeah, it's What's in the box? They don't really do the whole uh, pay-to-win loot box advanced stuff. It's all just optional cosmetic items. Games you can just totally play. No real advantage to any of the cosmetics. That's just in general how NetEase does things. They do it differently than like Zynga and other companies. They actually make games. <laughs> the Furry Abyss! pretty cool <laughs> yeah it's really yeah. interesting because you know there's a lot of spy games out there but i haven't quite seen it in this like multiplayer context and then there's all these crazy spy gadgets that you can even roll around as a panda yeah i mean of course you can What's, what spy <laughs> can't dress up as a panda no, but i love the because you've got the the two versus four asymmetric exactly. gameplay and so i love these kind of unbalanced multiplayer games uh, and then having all of the um the crazy sort of dress up element to it and the the uh, really unusual looking gadgets um, and the sort of beautiful locations. Right, it's zero. like a, a, a sort of a, it's a completely um, out there spy mm. game. Yeah. Elijah. It doesn't take itself too seriously. Hoping seriously for in Breath the best of the Wild possible, 2 right? gameplay. Yeah, mm. and of course, you know, um, we all love stealth games and there aren't that many stealth multiplayer games mm, to exactly, start with. Yeah. Um, and the idea that you're sort you of back, using buddy. not only your wits, but also these unusual gadgets and then also um, you know, having fun with the, the costumes that you can, that you can we change can end into. The stream with some and so enhancing the stealth side okay. of it. I'm, I'm interested to see, you know, how that 
ends up relating to the stealth gameplay. Especially since it's already been really well received in mainland China, it seems like this is really a new type of stealth spy experience that we can look forward to. Mm. Next, with its unique asymmetric gameplay and rich character stories, Identity 5 has received a lot of love and support from players. As it approaches its fourth anniversary, let's take a peek at the latest moments from the manor. What's up with the music, man? Every one of these games has great music. Told you, their music, man. What is it with NetEase games, dude? Their music is awesome. Whoever their music directors are needed to stay for like every game. Identity 5 is committed to bringing players exciting new content and memorable gaming experiences. Here is an important news update Stop from her, Lady Truth and Mr. Inference. Until the key is turned, you won't notice the door is locked. Until the light enters, you can't tell good from evil. Until the curtain falls. You won't realize the audience is part of the cast. Puppet Master. That was pretty cool. So uh, players of Identity 5, um, the game has uh, up until now had all kinds of uh, collaborations, crossovers with uh, artists. Uh, but this time we're going to be seeing a new crossover with uh, Mitsuji Kamata, who is a oh, Japanese a, uh, steampunk artist. This is a um, great so music be, track right now. What is going on? Of the game and yeah. It should be quite exciting. This stream is um, worth um, it for yeah, the music nice alone. That, um, so there'll be some new costumes available. Um, players will be able to get their hands on new things to deck out their characters with. That's very cool. Like, awesome. Yeah. Mix. And if you've just joined us, hi, you're watching NetEase Connect 2022. Uh, next up, let's check in on Naraka Blade Point. This 60 player battle royale developed by 24 Entertainment and NetEase Games has already been a smash hit on PC, selling 6 million copies in 90 days, hitting Steam's best of 2021 list and earning nominations in Game of the Year 2021 awards. On IGN, we gave it an 8 out of 10, which is a very good score, and praised its smart approach to combat that sets it apart in a crowded multiplayer genre. Now, Naraka Blade Point is coming to mobile. So, let's take a look at some exclusive new gameplay footage and a brand new character. VR, I think he means Battle Royale.
man. <laughs> I don't know what you'd do without me. New season. That's today. 各位五二零发布会的观众朋友们，大家好呀！我是永劫无间的制作人关磊。明天我们的新赛季《无望》就将要开启了。本赛季啊，将会有海量的内容更新，从新玩法到新内容，甚至新的性能优化呀，堪称是二十四工作室最速更新传说，冲刺周年庆。新赛季即将登场的新英雄《末路之鬼》武田信中。他是一位来自日轮国的武士，从小习武，天赋过人，坚守着忠义、勇信、克己的武士之道。啊，最后啊，却因为各种因缘离开故土，踏上了巨孤舟。相信各位已经知道，武田与胡桃、纪沧海有着密切的关系。但是啊，武田的故事当然不止于此了。这位英雄背后的经历啊，在新赛季中。等着玩家你们自己去挖掘喽！新英雄武田信中，想必啊能够给现在的队伍组合带来非常新鲜的体验。你呢是要选择和胡桃来个师徒搭配，还是和火男来个宿敌组队呢？哦，即使你选择单排来使用武田，也会有一个大妖风莲和你一起唱双簧哦。明天更新的这个新赛季版本里面，十分给力的性能优化和正刀机制优化，就要时装进去了。这个一文一武的两大优化，相信可以让玩家们玩永劫无间玩得更加爽快。详细的优化内容啊，大家可以前往我们的公众号来查看。随着将近一年技术力的累积和人员的扩充呢、啊，我们的多平台移植顺利的进行中。无间的手游团队在操作方式上面进行了摸索与创新。现在，我们不止让老玩家在手机上面能够找到端游的操作感。更让没有玩过无间端游的手游玩家也可以轻松上手啊！画面品质做到了高配来对标我们的端游，哦，主流机型呢就可以顺畅的游玩我们的游戏的标准。请关注手游的朋友们，稍安勿躁啊！开发顺利啊！想要预约的话，可以开始了呀。哎，回来我们的新赛季吧，新衣服肯定少不了的、啊。除了 BP 中准备的宝贝之外，杰杯冠军们的专属皮肤千呼万唤使出来、啊。永劫的国风专体金乌技啊，也将要上新了。除了央视呢帮忙曝光的这个明光铠之外，我们也参与了龙门石窟进行的修缮工作。修缮的成果啊，将后续为大家做详细的汇报。同时，超乎想象的联动内容也即将登场喽New hero Takeda will be joining the battle in the upcoming new season of Naraka Blade Point. Equipped with a katana and clad in armor, Takeda is a samurai with a demon living inside him. This is just one of the game's frequent updates that are making the community very, very happy.、Mm. And、uh, I think, as we saw from that、uh, that video clip just there, the idea of a samurai character with demons living in, a demon living inside him, and you saw that sort of very. Dark <laughs> uh, looking uh, video clip. What did you think? Yeah, I think you know I love samurai. So seeing a character like that in coming to Naraka is is, is a great thing. And I really like you know the the setting of like having a demon inside him. You can kind of feel his anger. So yeah, <laughs> once、uh, once this character comes to the game, I'll definitely be playing as him. I think you definitely should. <laughs> That's a great idea. Um, and you can、uh, look out for、um, future updates on Naraka Blade Point's social accounts. Okay, so next, let's reveal another brand new game. Zoz Final Hour is a third-person shooting game with a twist. 
15 mercs infiltrate the zombie infested city of San Diego to battle the undead and collect valuable blood crystals. Zombie but zombies are not the only threat. Your fellow players may choose to double cross you at any moment. Play alone or in a team, but watch your back. And that's not all. Players who die during a match are revived as zombies, with a whole new set of skills and infinite respawns, leading to a thrilling clash with human players and tons and tons of crazy action. Let's hear from ZOZ Final Hour developer Brian, who has some more details on this cool new game. Zeozifan Hour is a tactical competitive shooter set in an apocalyptic city. We hope to bring to our players an engaging and exciting game experience with our innovative gameplay and awesome game graphics. To create a realistic post-apocalyptic atmosphere, we locate the battlefield in a vibrant cityscape, complete with hospital, shopping mall and even amusement park. When the once lively urban landscape becomes deserted and destroyed, only aggressive zombies are left. This sharp contrast creates a strong sense of immersion. The player will assume the role of a mercenary, arriving in the zombie-fasted city with 14 other mercenaries and compete with each other for a scarce resource and a chance to survive. We want our players to be able to compete on an equal playing field, but we also realize that the classical PvP games are absolute experiences. Players are overjoyed when they win, but are frustrated when they lose. Then, we started thinking, is there a way to reduce the failure penalty so death wouldn't mean game over for players, but instead a new beginning? The Zombie Mercenary is our answer to this problem. Players who take on this role will have a new upgrade system with mutation skills and a new mission. Kill the humans and stop them from getting extracted from the city. As a Zombie Mercenary, you will be free from the restraints of death and can respawn an infinite number of times. Pretty awesome, huh? To make sure they stand a chance against the immortal zombie mercenaries, we have also equipped the human mercenaries with a variety of powerful weapons. High arms include assault rifles, submachine guns, shotguns and sniper rifles. And for cold weapons, we have a katana, a kukri knife, a compound bow and even heavy hammer. We also have some quite unique pieces of tactical equipment for the player to choose from, such as jetpacks which can propel the player through the air, a grappler that can be fired at nearby objects to pull the player towards it, and more. Human mercenaries can also obtain different items by opening boxes or killing zombies. These include mod materials and the selectable mercenary skills, so you can play in your own style. However, in addition to staying clear of zombies, you also need to keep an eye on the other humans. When you finish getting resources and send the assigned request evacuation, your location will be exposed. From that point on, all eyes will be on you. Be careful of players hiding in the shadows who want to hijack your chopper. Of course, if you can find the right hiding spot, you might just be able to get out of there undetected. Good job, Mercenary. Finally, once dialed, one will turn from human to zombie mer. If you saw any of those, show zero mercy and pull out your gun. There are plenty more interesting features and ways to play waiting for you to experience. ZOZ Final Hour is now open for regional testing. We welcome everyone to sign up. Thrill and glory await in the zombie city. Join us now. Next, let's head to Middle Earth. Based on the classic Tolkien masterpiece, The Lord of the Rings trilogy, the geostrategic seasonal war game The Lord of the Rings Rise to War 
licensed by Warner Brothers and developed by NetEase Games, was launched on mobile in Europe and the United States last September. So let's check out some new announcements. The War of the Ring has reignited. Oh, that merch store is working now. The new merch for Prime Gaming Fest. The store is up and working now. I figured it out. Lord of the Rings! Armies were raised. Yeah, yeah! The kills were lit. The journey never ends. Yeah, strategy game. And yeah. the road goes ever on. Like strategy games. More legends are joining. More stories will be told. And everyone can change the course of the future. So Daniel, you mentioned it's a geostrategic seasonal war game. What exactly does Season? that mean? I thought you might ask, but it's okay, we've got you covered. So according to the recently published video, IGN Beginner's Guide, to this game. Uh, uh, the war game part is pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. You control armies vying for domination over territory in Middle Earth, with the ultimate goal of tracking down the one ring to clinch victory. Geostrategic means the core of the game is deciding how and where to project military power to achieve the goal of pursuing the one ring and denying territory to the enemy. You have to build up armies and strategically expand in the way you think will be the most advantageous. And seasonal refers to the fact that Rise to War operates using seasons that offer new game concepts, additional oh, factions, okay. campaign That's objectives, and quests Season. for special rewards. Season pass. And of course, mm -hmm. you know, this is all based on the Lord of the Rings uh, universe. It's all right. based on the original books by Tolkien. And so um, if you are familiar with, with that series, you're going to get even more out of this mm. game because you can play as all the different uh, factions from within the game. You can be the elves or you can be an orcish faction and things like that. Um, even if you don't know anything about Lord of the Rings, there's plenty of strategy in there to get your teeth into, so you have a good time either way. Right, sounds cool. And the new games just keep on coming. Let's check out another Once. trailer. Be human. <laughs> Death Stranding? Instantly what I think of. That is definitely not a normal baby. Developed by NetEase Games, Once Be Human takes place 40 years after the fall of civilization, after a mysterious silver door opened and brought about catastrophe, as stardust polluted the land and created hordes of monsters. Now, a new hope for humanity has arisen in the form of Beyonders, oh, people get humans with special powers. Games. No longer the prey, you become the hunter, if you think you have what it takes. Survival won't be easy. I feel Players like there's a lot of lack of respect. their resources and face unknown dangers if they are to games. endure. In addition to this brutal survival gameplay, well, NetEase is actually known for some pretty cool high art quality style that the developers that refer to as changes. new weird. Mobile games, young, um, so, boring, Ezra, we blah, saw blah, just blah. a little teaser, just a tell little teaser. Tell me you don't play without telling then. me you don't play. Uh, like, what did you think? Uh, yeah, it really has the mobile kind of games new are weird the best atmosphere, at to be honest. Like, you know, the lady is carrying this baby or whatever it might be, and, you know, she has a VR headset kind of thing, wearing herself. Well, so Bowsette, it Netflix really games had is that kind of like creepy company. feeling just in this little small teaser. Trailer. Oh no, so, a primarily mobile game you know, company is announcing about? mobile it, games. It has me excited. Oh no! Yeah, I, I personally, I'm a big fan of uh, 
weird sci-fi <laughs> stuff like that. And uh, so this this kind of thing is, is really up my alley. And because she has this VR thing on her on her face or some kind of helmet on, you wonder, does she even know what it is that she's holding? Is she right, seeing right, something? Right. Is she experiencing something different than what's actually happening in the room? Mm. Um, and that, that side of it uh, is quite exciting. The idea that, you know, uh, usually sort of uh, inanimate, or not inanimate, but sort of... Um, oh, China and Japan. But, but, uh, they really respect mobile games. Like, plant life you ever go like to that. Tokyo Game Show? Intelligence and are starting to There'll rival be a ton mankind of for uh, dominance of the planet. Tokyo game That's quite cool, right? Yeah, so, really, like, so. just like you're going right now, it really has you speculating Definitely what, huge would this, what would that mean? Out in, that part in, in that regard, I think it's, uh, it's a really interesting teaser. And uh, in the US, you know, how does that we play the actually games, play out in gameplay? Like, there's still so much we want to know about this history. game. So I can't wait for the next uh, reveal. Who cares? Yeah, games, and games, uh, games. we can look out for more information on Once Be Human soon. Next as up is another new game launching fun. soon. Tank Company is an online multiplayer That's game that throws you into a massive about. 15 versus 15 battles on a variety of maps, featuring a selection of real historical tanks from World War II and the Cold War. Level up your tanks and customize them with accessories, equipment, camouflage, and decals to play how you like. Team up with friends or a clan to explore the scorching deserts, snow-covered towns, and war-torn factories, and use the diverse terrain to your tactical advantage. Let's watch the trailer to find out more. I wouldn't be surprised, though. Oh, j -Lo. like beyond a doubt. Mobile gaming is at, like so massive, so big, so profitable. It's hard for console gamers to fathom that console gaming would only make up like 2% of the total mobile combined. Take PlayStation, Nintendo, Sony, throw them together. It's like a scratch. It's like a fly on a wall, basically, in comparison to the rest of the mobile gaming space. Like, it is by far and away the largest gaming sector in the world. And it, people just love the shit on it. And the people that love the shit on it are all the people that are part of that, that's actually a minority of the video game industry. We don't like to think of us as a minority, but we kind of are. Mobile games are so much bigger. Than console gaming. I think that scares people. Much different from World of Tanks. I like World of Tanks. This is like an alternative to World of Tanks. Pre-registration for Tank Company is open now. Look out for more on Tank Company's social accounts. Coming out of early access and drifting towards the starting grid is Ace Racer. Ace Racer. In this racing high speed game. racing game, cars can flash through walls, transform or drive, and end with the Harry dash Potter to game. the sky. Let's check out a teaser video. Hi, Potter.
As you can see, Ace Racer offers a fun selection of powerful ultimate Uber's skill here. selections for exciting <laughs> drifting action, along with various scenic tracks around the world, including Tokyo, California, and Shanghai, and more. The Ace Racer Net developers have added multiple futuristic it. effects to deliver a unique and it's thrilling one racing experience, all with mobile-friendly one-minute gameplay. If you knew anything about mobile games, you would know that not every so company in the mobile game space is to win. But uh, Ezra, unfortunately, people just make assumptions and about everyone in the mobile game space. Yeah, I really like you know the old school arcade kind of racing games, and this that looks is like actually one of them. known for you know, their games. Of course, uh, game recently game. there's been a lot of like more realistic simulators. Seeing a, a, a game that goes crazy like this is really something that I think that I'd be watching a and, live stream you know, of the a trailer mobile game itself, company well, not actual gameplay, that seeing the girl, it's just a bunch know, of pay to win shit. Something all of her pocket throw and then that becomes a super fast this is because car. This is one of the that better really cool mobile and, uh, game companies you know, I can't wait that to actually actual play this video game and see how fast I can go. Yeah, you can see from that sort of trailer uh, footage there that the game's got kind of a playful tone. Right. Uh, the same as you, you know, I, I grew up playing um, arcade-style racing games, to which I enjoyed way more the than the sort of uh, core simulation racing games. And uh, so I really always enjoy these kind of games. But uh, like you say, the idea that you've no, got this very right colorful now. world, you've got mm. um, tracks, you know, all around the world, but then you have all these very sort of flashy, over-the-top, um, effects going on and uh, crazy skills that you can use and, and I presume you can unlock new skills and, and uh, use those uh, to keep sort of evolving the way that you play as well. Right. Uh, it looks this like might it be a lot of fun. And having matches that are one minute long, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you can play it in the train or like waiting for a meeting or something like that. You know, you're probably going to hope that that person won't show up or something like that. <laughs> and also one more thing I wanted to mention is I really like the futuristic sex uh, atmosphere in there like it really matches the speed and you know with the the, the skyscrapers in the back it's it's a huge no, it's huge cityscape that you can see while racing which is a great match for this type of game i feel yeah i think that having that sort of jump in play jump out kind of mm -hmm. gameplay as well not only is that it's good when like you say when you're waiting for someone or when you're on the train or whatever i think you're you're probably yeah, the game looks pretty good longer than you expected to because right, right. each match is so quick you'll be like oh, right now it's one only one. Just uh, do one, one more coin yeah, 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 yeah just not new, out okay yeah new you concept, can free right, right, yeah. right now. So, that's pretty exciting and uh yeah we're looking forward to seeing some updates as soon as we can at NetEase Connect 2021, we introduced, introduced Viking. Viking Guard, which is a simulation RPG for mobile that puts you in charge of a Viking tribe to lead to glory. And now Viking Guard is out. Released in March 2022, the game invites budding Norsemen and Norsewomen to go on voyages throughout Scandinavia and Europe in search of glorious battles. Grow your tribe, create alliances, raid and conquer new lands, grow crops and I'll go download this. live like a Viking. Let me see. You can even play. date romantic partners or keep pets. Uh, I've been playing it since it came out in March and it's really, really fun. Um, check out this video, set sail for adventure in Viking Guard. Midsummer is the year's the high point shots. when days are brightest and the heart is most daring, when Vikings have planted their crops safely and can sail off to battle in other lands. Now, the new expansion Midsummer is coming to Viking Guard in June. It's time for action and all new adventure. Sweet. Next up, Lost Light is a survival oh, shooter for PC and mobile that is currently in open beta. You play as a member of the Firefly Squad at war with the Marauders in a post-apocalyptic future. The battlefield offers high risk and high reward. Utilize stealth as you scavenge for supplies or blow up everything in sight and go in like an action hero. Make off with the loot. Either way, you'll need strong tactics to survive the PvPvE action within the exclusion zone. Lost Light features cross-platform play across PC and mobile, a vibrant in-game economy that lets you trade for your favorite loadouts and loot, and social options that allow you to play with friends in a variety of ways. Now let's hear from game designer Daniel, good name, for more.
everyone. This is Daniel from the Lost Light development team. It's great to meet you all at NetEase Connect 2022 and to have this chance to introduce the game. Lost Light is a survival, warfighting and progression game developed by NetEase Games. Events are taking place in the so-called exclusion zone where every decision you make might affect your ultimate fate. In addition to intense combat, Lost Light will bring you strategy, social interaction and base development. Supply yourself during combat by gathering, crafting, trading resources and by building and operating your own shelter. Combat may not be the only path to victory within the exclusion zone. Rescuing collaborative tasks and shelter visits, there are many ways of interaction we are trying to implement. Lost Light is a fierce struggle for resources, but hopefully it can also be a place where some glimpses of humanity still remain. I personally like the gun modification mechanic most of all, making some strange but surprisingly effective builds is lots of fun. For example, you could build a short SC-15 so it looks like a submachine gun, but can still be used at close quarters due to its high ergonomics. Rank mode is quite innovative for this gameplay type. Rank games are more competitive and more team-oriented than regular ones. And of course, by playing it, you can also obtain unique season rewards. Cool. I have only one minute left. Let's use it to introduce the upcoming content. You know you can stream your There's plenty of new content coming up with the next big update, such as female characters, new clothes, new feature. guns, armor, shelter skins, and lots more. More than 2 million players worldwide participated in Lost Slides current open beta tests for both Android and PC platforms. Also, since the third Android quarter of this year, Android we will TV launch our Android first iOS version for testing. If you like shooters but also enjoy the thrill of strategy and development alongside your combat, we will love Lost Light. Somewhere on the screen you can find our social media. That's all from Lost Light and NetEase Connect. Looking forward to see you next no, time. I don't really like Lost Light will enter its first test on iOS in Q3 2022. It's a closed test, but uh, viewers can sign up uh, to be invited to the test. All viewers can receive a limited in-game bundle that includes key items to improve the efficiency of their shelter upgrades. To claim this bundle, open the app settings when you get the app, tap Redemption Center, and then tap Claim Your Rewards, and use the code Firefly. Okay, everybody, we have one more game to show you today. Hey, and Potter. it's definitely going to be a magical experience. Do it. Let's take a look. Harry Potter, it's a magic awakening. Yes, that's right, Harry Potter Magic Awakened is here at last. We no longer have to wait in the cupboard under the stairs. A co-production between Warner Brothers Games' Portkey Games Studio and NetEase Games, this immersive collectible card role-playing game will be hitting PC and mobile everywhere in the very near future. In Harry Potter Magic Awakened, you'll play as a young witch or wizard who has just received their acceptance letter to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Customize your character and get ready to begin your magical education. Purchase school supplies at Diagon Alley, don the sorting hat to find your house, and compete in the dueling club. Witches and wizards will embark on a riveting new story featuring familiar faces from the original Harry Potter series and new characters alike. 
learn spells and charms, venture through challenging trials and duel other players to master the magic in your own illustrious wizarding journey. Get ready to share the wizarding world with wizards, witches and muggles all the world over thanks to cross-platform play support. And as a joint venture with Portkey Games, the Warner Brothers games label dedicated to creating unique wizarding world experiences, you can expect something truly magical. The game has already cast a spell over players in Greater China, where it has topped the Apple App Store and Google Play rankings with over 50 million downloads. With industry-leading graphics, voice acting and storytelling, Harry Potter Magic Awakened promises to be the game that fans have been waiting for. Well, that's all for NetEase Connect 2022. Ezra, what were some of your highlights? It has to be, for me personally, Ace Racer, because I really like this kind of arcade style of uh, gameplay and the visuals, you know, the, the futuristic cities are really my kind of uh, thing. So, and, and it's really cool to know that it's really fast plays, one minute gameplay. It's, it's really a kind of title that uh, might be surprisingly fun. So I look play, forward to playing that one a lot. How about yeah, you, Daniel? You can sort of dip in and out of it, which is cool as well. Um, for me, so uh, the pretty much the opposite end of the scale of that, uh, Infinite Lagrange is a game mm. that's really uh, immersive. I've, I've been playing it already um, a little bit. And um, wasn't that bad of a show? I mean, really like sort of sci-fi. The and, mobile and game kind of company and, stuff, and they showed some really galaxy, good games. You're building up your fleets. Yeah, and trying to rate it on the scale for mobile games. And, um, so it wasn't bad. The, uh, I, mean, the I give it at least a 7 out of 10. A sim kind of game. The games all look good. Management and that kind of thing. But uh, visually, it's really stunning. And um, you can sort of follow your spacecraft around as they go off on missions and that kind of thing. Um, and so as the game keeps kind of growing and the lore keeps expanding and with this new expansion that's coming, um, I'm looking forward to seeing you know, how, that, how that galaxy, how that universe continues to grow. Right, yeah, it seems like a really immersive experience that you can be playing for a long time to come. Mm -hmm. uh, for me personally, another favorite was uh, Mission Zero. You know, it's uh, these kind of stealth games uh, you know, there's there's elements of them that I've seen before, but you know, the, the kind of like fantastical go crazy with it kind of mm -hmm. thing is something I haven't really seen before in the stealth <laughs> game. And then at the same time, it's it's a multiplayer experience as well. So it, it sounds like a stealth game I haven't really seen before, which is really exciting. Mm, and the asymmetric side of it as well. I like asymmetric multiplayer games. Right, so right, right. That side looks really fun. Um, another one for me is um, Viking Guard. Um, there is this new expansion coming, and um, I'm excited to see, you know, exactly what ends up, you know, the content that's in there. Um, I've been playing um, so far since it was released recently uh, on mobile, and um, as you sort of uh, you go through sort of building up your um, your little Viking village and start, you know, raising livestock and mm. getting pets and then, and going on missions and, and going to different um, parts of the European continent each time. Um, it's surprisingly involving. <laughs> and so there's quite a lot to kind of get your teeth into in there. And the more you play it, the more fun it's becoming. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing yeah. it. What sounded really appealing to me is I kind of like the more mundane aspects of video games. So one moment you're, you're having these giant battles, right? And mm -hmm. then the next moment you can do these everyday life things in like, like having romantic relationships or you know keeping pets, growing crops. I really like the contrast that that's going to withdraw together with the, the more action oriented elements. So sure. yeah, that's definitely uh, one I'm looking forward to try playing as well. Mm. And then of course, uh, we saw right at the end there, Harry Potter Magic Awakened. Um, this is a game that's been coming for a long time mm. and people are you know excited for. Um, I think we saw a little bit in, in, in the video there, the sort of the variety of exactly. gameplay. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's, you know, it's a card playing game, but at the same time, you know, you, you have a Quillage and then you have like the, these dance parties. So it's, it seems like it, it, it simulates a lot of different aspects from the Harry Potter universe. Yes, and you know, I think we've all wanted at some point to go to uh, a wizarding school, <laughs> or maybe just me, um, to, to go and check out what, what it's like to, to sort of, you know, spend your education at to Hogwarts. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. think it's just you, because just as the trailer shows, you know, it's, it's these people with their everyday lives in the train and stuff like that, and then suddenly they're transported to this world of magic and fantasy, which is really kind of what this game, I think, aspires to be. Mm. And being able to play with your friends and, and other people around the world uh, is, a, is a nice nice touch because it's going to have, um, I'm sure it's going to have a large community around mm. it uh, of everybody. Oh, you know, already in China, 50 in million players. That's uh, yeah. quite a lot. <laughs> That's quite a lot. <laughs> it's uh, it's yeah. probably one of those kind of experiences uh, which makes you feel you don't want to go back to reality. 
I think we can all definitely appreciate that feeling <laughs> right. uh, for sure. Um, so um, I think that's all we have time for today. For more news, don't forget to follow Nettie's Games on Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube, plus their official websites for more updates on these games and more. And don't forget to check out IGN for updates as well. That's the end uh, of the show. That's all from me and Ezra. At uh, not too bad of a show. Not too bad. Uh, some people saw I opened this up while, it, while uh, that stream is going on. It's highly in shield. Let's see, see this one lights up. It's got like the back thing. You know, maybe like a baby probably stick their hand in there. And... Kind of cool. It's made out of PVC. So it is plastic, but it's not like, you know, like the cheap plastic. Damn, looks good. This is supposed to be the, the uh, one from Breath of the Wild. Just came out. Haven't decided if I'm... Uh... So we have that big giveaway event coming on. I haven't decided if I'm going to give this away or not. It is really cool. And it is a collector's item. There is only um, 20,000 in existence. And this is number 1,081 out of 20,000. And this is the exclusive edition. It's pretty cool. But yeah, I haven't decided if I'm keeping it or if I'm going to give it away. I don't know yet. Like the part of me that says keep it, well, it's just going to sit like on my podcast set. Like it's literally like this thing is just going to sit if I keep it over there in the background of my podcast set, right? Like that's where it's going to go. Um, and then I just hope and pray my kids don't break it. <laughs> But somebody else might literally put this on like full on display in their living room or something like not hidden in the background of a podcast set, you know, so like I really, really like it. But also somebody else might put it on display better. So, you know, it's one of those you just don't know. Um, I see the lights now, really cool. Yeah, the lights on the, the the camera doesn't pick the lights up very much, very well. Like you, you can see they're on, but the camera, you know, isn't picking up the lights as much. Um, uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool, and it just attaches with a magnet, it's just magnetized, and it does come with the power cable. So it, I think it's running on like one AA battery right now, or you can use it. It's got a USB C, yeah, USB C power cable. You can run it as well if you don't want to use batteries. There's no on and off button, though. That's the thing. So, like, I can't go down here and turn this off. There's no off button. So, um, I would have to go with the screwdriver. Oh, it's a rechargeable battery. Oh! Never mind. So, it is. So, this. So, plug in the USB C cable and must recharge the battery. Ah, nice. That's cool. So it's a rechargeable battery, but there is no off button. A rechargeable battery with no off button. <laughs> but hey, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yes, it is first four figures. Here is the like retail box thing. But it comes in this really cool. That's really cool box. Because it's a special edition. That is really awesome. That is really awesome. Yeah. The stand, the lights don't turn off, which is fine. That is really cool, though. I like that a lot. So we'll see. Uh, how much was it? I think it was $110. Hundred and ten bucks. Oops. 
It's right here. I said, okay. Fine, don't listen to me. Anyways, 110 bucks. You can do payment plans or buy it, straight up buy it. It is in stock still. But there's only 20,000 and they'll never, they'll, oh, sorry, I guess I didn't really show you guys. Oh, I forgot to hit, I forgot to hit my button. All uh, right. So it's in stock right now. It's 110 bucks at first four figures. Uh, but they'll never make it again. There's 20,000 of them and that's it. They're all already made. You buy it or you don't. Not really much else to it. Once they're all sold out, their values shoot up like crazy. $500 headphones, no power button. $110 shield, but no power. This is a rechargeable battery. And th these are just LEDs. So even off of one battery without charging it, it should stay on for a while. It, it doesn't really bother me that it's going to be on all the time. But anyways, that was the NetEase event. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, no live stream tonight. I got to go. I got to get working on, on Prime News and anything else I have going on tonight. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in. That was a uh, decent presentation. Obviously not as good as what we're getting at Summer Game Fest, but hey, we're not to the big shows yet. We haven't gotten to the big boys. The big boys are coming up. So catch you guys later, all right?